Hi everybody, welcome back to Darling Borough Modern Railway. I'm Richard. Before I kick off with this week's video, I just want to make a massive announcement. Now, I think it's quite fitting, as it's bonfire night, to make the announcement with some fireworks. That's right, I have now hit over a hundred subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. So thank you very much and welcome to everyone who has subscribed to the channel. I hope you're still enjoying it as much as I am making the videos, standing in a freezing cold shed. Oh, at two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Don't forget if you haven't yet subscribed, click on the uh, subscribe button. Also, Click on the like button as well every video you watch just helps me spread the word a little bit so thank you very much for that now if you remember in the video last week i mentioned the fact that i was reconsidering what to do with my rocky bridge section i mentioned the fact that both of the tracks aren't actually at the right space apart so i was considering taking the track up and um, obviously redoing it now I want to say a massive thank you to Lee Borgie who has sent me a message and he said as for the Rocky Bridge section problem could you cut between the two tracks up the middle and reattach it with wood underneath at the correct distance then fill the gap with filler and ballast. Lee you're a genius mate absolutely genius thank you very much for the comment. I have been sitting there working out whether I should just add some extra track and just kind of bodge it together or if I should bite the bullet and pull the track up. I had never thought about cutting down and leaving the track still attached to the board. Yes, I could do that and that's what I'm going to do. So Lee, absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much for that comment. Which kind of just goes to show that um, you guys um, are as much of my channel as obviously I am. Um, I do appreciate all the comments, I do appreciate all the feedback and I generally do take things on board. If you guys have got a, a really good suggestion, drop me a comment down below or you can always leave me a comment using some of the um, social media channels up there. Um, I, I do respond to every single comment that I get on the YouTube. So yeah, so just leave me a comment and an email as well. So anyway, carrying on um, with Lee's uh, suggestion, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the Rocky Bridge section because obviously I can take it out. Um, and just basically cut it up. <laughs> Slightly worrying, but at least it's not as worrying as pulling all the track up. The Rocky Bridge section was quite easy to remove from the layout. Basically as a standalone piece, all I needed to do was disconnect the tracks on each end and then simply lift it out of place. I placed it on the end board just so I could work on it a little bit easier. Oh. Now what I need to do is take these tracks up. But I'm not going to take the tracks up, I'm going to just cut along here and move the tracks while they're still on the ballast. I then realised I didn't actually have to remove both tracks, all I needed to do was remove the one at the rear. Before I removed any of the track, I carefully removed the bridge uprights. As these were built from wood and card, I wasn't too worried about them being damaged because they are fairly sturdy. I then started to cut down the middle of both tracks. I wanted to separate both tracks so I could remove the real one. I did find it tough going um, trying to cut down between the tracks using the craft knife. I'm going to get my rotary tool out. Once I changed tools and started using my rotary tool, it made very light work of the material underneath the track. 
I soon managed to cut down between both tracks and then started to remove the rear section. I then started to cut down into the cork underneath the track using a craft knife. Some of it was easier to cut away than other bits, simply because of the cork that I'd used. The industrial adhesive that I'd used to stick the cork down onto the cardboard really, really wasn't giving. So I started to hack away at it with my craft knife. Eventually, with cutting and slicing and just generally hacking away at it, I eventually managed to remove the rear track ballast and all. So there, that's how it's come out. As you can see, it's really, really been stuck down very well. Um, I'm actually quite proud of how possibly over-engineered <laughs> I built this. Uh, initially. Um, I did notice that some of the track on the ballast uh, on one of the ends has just come loose but that's fine because as I say I'll probably re-ballast it. Um, I do want to kind of stick it down again and kind of just make it all nice and neat and tidy again. So once I'd cut the track and removed it I actually realised there was some loose track that basically come away from the board. I decided that I wanted to basically get this stuck back down before I put the other piece of track on. So I cleaned off the ballast from underneath the track. And then applied a fairly generous smattering of the cork underneath, spread it out with my finger and then pushed the track back down so that it embedded into the cork. Once I kind of put it all back together, I'm going to measure it again and uh, work out exactly how wide the tracks are. I'm going to use these as a guide on each end to make sure that I get it correct this time and then put it back together. Um, <laughs> all good fun! So I'm going to leave it here at the moment. Two reasons. One, it's absolutely freezing in the shed and I need to go in and get a nice cup of tea and warm up a little bit. Two, what I've done so far is going to take a little while to dry, so I want all the track to really kind of settle down um, and stick before I kind of finish rebuilding the rocky bridge section. So if you are interested in seeing how it turns out, then don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and then click on the like button as well. It just helps me out a little bit um, so you don't miss next week's video. I'm also going to look at fixing that door because it needs a bit of insulation, I think. Um, in the meantime, don't forget, have a nice, safe bonfire night, whatever you're doing, and enjoy the rest of my videos. Bye.